In this video, we're going to replace our front bumper's center grille trim in this 2012 Mitsubishi Outlander. So we're going to remove these four clips. You're going to grab a panel tool. You're going to pry out. It's a two-piece clip. Pry up the top. Once you pry up the top far enough, it should come up. Now we have our four clips out. We're going to remove this plastic shield. Just lift up and it slides under this front gasket and underneath this front latch. So you'll have to pry it straight up. I'm going to go ahead and remove these two bolts holding the top of the bumper in. They're 10 millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and remove those now. There would be one more bolt straight down behind the hood latch. Our vehicle did not come with it. There should be one more bolt straight down here. Clips on the fender well holding the bumper. Phillips and another Phillips. Just going to go ahead without pressing too hard, unscrew these. And then go ahead and get your panel tool. Go ahead and pry them out. and repeat the process for the other side. So we have a couple more clips along the bottom of the bumper, holding the bumper to the vehicle and the splash shield. We're gonna go ahead and remove those now. There are some bolts across the bottom also. We'll get those after. We have these bolts holding this splash shield in okay, with a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to go ahead and remove these two clips. So go ahead and grab your panel tool, and pry them out. Once your clips are removed from the sides, the top, and the bottom, you're going to go ahead and grab the side of your bumper. There's some clips in here. We're going to pull out, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the driver's side. So once you've gotten the bolts out from the bottom, there's one more bolt hiding behind here. Just take a trim tool, and pop this cap off. And we'll go ahead and remove that bolt. So with a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove this last bolt holding the bumper in place. And one last electrical connector right here behind the front grille. 
go ahead and squeeze the clip and separate the plug. Now you're ready to remove the front bumper. If you have a second set of hands, have somebody grab a side and you grab the other side. If not, grab it from the center and just pull straight back away from the vehicle. So what we're going to do now is remove some of these grill pieces, foam, and a few other pieces and transfer them to our other bumper. Just a Phillips head screws. I'll take your grill out. Now you'll have a few clips retaining the grill. You want to pry these open with a flathead screwdriver or a trim tool. Now what happens here is your fog light harness is clipped to the grill and your foam piece is over that. So what we're going to do is remove the foam piece first and we'll take the harness and this grill with it. A couple Phillips head screws. This foam should come straight up, ready to transfer over to your new bumper. And your harness, there's a few more clips and we'll take out now. Again, with a trim tool, go ahead and pop those clips. Now, our vehicle did not come with fog lights, but they are wired for it. So we do not have to remove the fog lights. Now you can remove the grill, fog light harness assembly as one, and transfer it to your new bumper. So we have a couple of clips holding in this piece here. I'm going to go ahead and remove those, the panel tool. You can set this aside. So we're going to go ahead and remove this fog light cover. I'm going to take this one clip off here. There's two clips here. Now the process for this would be the same for the other side, however our vehicle only has the one. So we're just removing the one. So we're going to take off this lower grill, a bunch of Phillips screws. We're going to go ahead and take those out now. So we have a few clips holding in this lower grill. I'm going to go ahead and pop those out now. You can use a small flathead screwdriver or a panel tool. We're just going to pre-loosen it a little bit by hand. 
get these bottom tabs up. And now we'll loosen and pop these clips. While you're popping these clips, a little upward pressure. And there you have it. So last step is this chrome trim that runs on the outside of your grill. There's two Phillips screws, one on each side, and a few clips. I'm going to go ahead and take the Phillips screws out now, and then we'll pop the clips. Now with again a small flathead screwdriver or a panel tool, we'll push these clips and push the chrome down at the same time. Let's see where we can work it free. There we go. We get it started here. Just find a spot that allows you to get it started easily and you can work your way around. Now at this point, you're going to want to flip your bumper up and take your chrome trim off. We're going to go ahead and reinstall our chrome trim. This will be the first piece that goes in. Everything else gets set in behind it and screwed to it. There are some tabs. We're just going to push in from the front, and then we're going to secure it in the back with some screws. Let's go ahead and line it up, and we'll just walk around this and give it a squeeze. Okay, now we'll flip it over and screw it in from the back. I'm going to go ahead and put a Phillips screw in here and one on the other side. We'll do that now. I'm going to go ahead and install the front lower grill assembly. There are some clips here and there are some Phillips head screws. I'm just going to set it in place and lock in these back clips by pushing straight down. And just want to walk around it and put these tabs into the holes here where the Phillips screws go. And that is the chrome trim that we're going to screw straight through too. And now we'll put some screws in. So we'll go ahead and put some Phillips screws in to secure the lower grill. Next, we're going to install the fog light cover. Two clips through here. And you just want to push them through and then push them down to lock them in place. There's one more up top, this guy here. These you might need a pair of pliers. Push it. Nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and install this plastic shield. There's three clips along the bottom, two screws on the outside. Go ahead and put the clips in, lock them in. Two Phillips head screws. Now we're going to install the top grill. 
and the fog light harness. There are a few clips across the top and the bottom. We're just going to line those up. And go ahead and press down to seat the clips. And we're going to run the fog light cables to each side. Go ahead and push these clips in to the underside of the bumper. Now our car didn't come equipped with fog lights, so these harnesses just stay like that. And we'll do the opposite side. Now we're going to go ahead and install our Phillips screws all the way around the top grill. Now we install this foam. And it's just press fit in place. We're going to go ahead and install our push clips onto this lower trim. Now we're going to install our retaining clips for our 10 mil bolts on the bottom of the bumper. Now because ours are missing some plastic, I'm just going to space these out here a little to some good plastic. Now we install our bumper, center it up. What you want to do is get your top lined up so it's resting. And you want to thread in these two bolts so it's held in place while you work around the bumper. Let's go ahead and put these 10 mil bolts in. Don't put them all the way in, give it a little room to wiggle. Now, you can work on the bumper without it falling off the car. We're going to go ahead and reconnect our electrical connection in here. Let's just grab that connector and plug it back in. There would be another 10 mil bolt here. Our car does not have it. We're going to move to the side and clip it into the fenders. So now you're going to grab your bumper and you're going to pull out a little bit. You'll notice there's a piece in here that has to slide into the groove on the bottom of the headlights. And this piece here has to slide in here. You will hear a click and you may have to push in with some force to get pieces to seat. like that. And it's the same for the other side. One more 10 mil bolt down the bottom to put in here. And then snap your cover in place. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall these, these clips into the fender liner to the bumper. Here are your two Phillips head clips. The fender liner here goes inside the bumper. This tab stays on the outside, so I'll go ahead and line that up now. And push your clips in. And one straight up top. 
and the process for the other side is the same. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our three 10 millimeter bolts. Our vehicle has had some work done. Some of these don't line up. Yours should be fairly easy to line up. And now we'll go ahead and reinstall our plastic clips. Now that your bumper is secured at the fenders, secured down below, you know it's not going to go anywhere, go ahead and tighten these bolts down. Once these bolts are tightened down, you can go ahead and grab your plastic shield and reinstall that. Slide it over the latch handle. You'll have to guide this plastic underneath the rubber seal on both sides. And then go ahead and reinsert your four plastic clips. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.